everyone, welcome back to Colouring Kid. Today I'm doing my completed pages for January picture video. Um, and I just wanted to let you know, uh, you might have seen, if you've seen my completed pages um, and my colouring book collection, that I don't actually have many books. And you may find that in these videos that I will be doing each month, um, that I don't work in many different books. I tend to stick to the same uh, couple. So I've actually only got four here. And I've done some, you know, like multiple pictures from each in some cases. So I just wanted to let you know that I don't have a whole range of different books that I colour out of. It's mostly from the same books. So... The first picture that I did, or one of the pictures that I did, I don't have a particular order, uh, if you've seen my colour along, was this picture, the Easter chicks, and I know it's a bit early but I wanted to pick one that was really quick and simple and I did the tiny tin tag which was with just the 12 Holbein pencils which are here. So I just used these pencils and uh, nothing else. I didn't even use a white gel pen. I did use a blender pencil. That was the only thing I used. It was a Prismacolor one. Because this is very toothy paper, I wanted something that would burnish the colours down. So I'm really, really happy with this one. And I need to work in this one more. I've done two other pages in this one. The Halloween one. And the Christmas one here. And sorry, the lighting isn't great. Uh, and you, I use the Norris Club colour pencils, uh, the really, really cheap stainless ones. So, uh, some of these are whips as well, so yeah, they're not all completed pages. So this is a whip at the moment, as you know, we are working on the lady with her deer as a colour along. I'm really sorry I haven't got back to this yet, um, I need to finish colouring the dress, um, the hands and the hair, then I will come back and do it. it. It's likely to be that I will get all three of them done, all three of my colour alongs done during February and March. They won't be one after the other, you know, I want to do other things as well. So this is currently my work in progress. This is the page I did do, which is the sleeping mice. And I'm really happy with this one. It didn't take me long at all. I did it in an evening. Um, or I, I started it. Uh, I basically did it in less than a day. And I, I think I just, just used Prismacolors. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so I just used Prismacolors and then I used Wink of Stella to go over the stars. White gel pen to go over the little circles. Um, the colour palette for the mice were very similar to the colour palette that I used for House Mouse and Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. These blues are very similar to the dress that I'm doing at the moment. The leaves, again, are quite simple too. So this was just a simple one to do and I really enjoyed doing that. So, let me just put my book down. I've got quite a few done out of Fantastic Zoo by Kami Chidu. You might have seen a few of them, you might not have seen any at all if this is the first video you're watching of mine. Um, but I'll just show you what I've done. So the first page I haven't done yet, but it's just a few circles. But yeah, that's the first page. Um, I've done these two pages, which were very simple. I wanted some simple pictures to do that I could do at school, and I only had to take a few um, pencils in. So I've done um, this entangle bit, these flowers and bubbles, this bit down here, and the house and things up there again on this side. So everything that isn't these pictures I've coloured in. Um, the next page I've almost finished. I'm currently working on it, but I've almost finished it. So I'm going to class this as a completed picture because I have very nearly finished this. So uh, all I've got is the Zentangle on that side. Everything else I have finished. If you're wondering what I used for these, I used a mixture of all my pencils, my Prismacolors, Polychromis, my Eco Faber-Castell pencils, my classic Faber-Castell colour pencils. Um, yeah, I, I do use a mixture of pencils and I, I love how it turns out using uh, lots of them. This isn't a page that I have really started at all. 
I just wanted to show you that I'm going to be working on this page continuously. Once I've done one little animal, I'll colour it in. I need to catch up on three of them, but I, as you can see, I've started the sign here and I've done the little arrows. And this is going to be a very, very big work in progress. And I hope each month to be able to show you um, what I've added to it, which will be quite exciting. So, you may have seen this if you've seen the flip through and colour and chat of Fantastic Zoo by Kami Chidu. Um, I coloured, yep, I coloured this picture and I finished it off. I didn't really do much in the colour and chat um, with Tom or the colour and chat with the flip through because I just didn't. As I said, this was meant to be a baby elephant, but I made it a pig. So, let, let, yeah, I, I, like, I like it as a pig. Let's just put it that way. So, yeah, that is that little double page spread. I still class it as a double page spread. I know it's not really, but I'm going to class it as that anyway. Uh, I'm going to show you the picture that you, most of you might have seen. Or oh, actually, you probably won't have seen it. Go mad. Um, this is the pig, which I did properly this time. Um, so you might be able to tell with these that I use a mixture of different pencils but I've also got a continuous colour palette so this pig was practically all Prismacolor with some Polychromus and Eco pencils for the Zentangles and stuff but the main pig was Prismacolor uh, I've got brown mostly Faber-Castell uh, pencils and I've got mostly Prismacolors for the house but these bubbles and these flowers, I have got a continuous colour palette. So any of the big bubbles which have a circle are blue. Any of the dots, like just a dot, is um, yellow with white gel pen over the top. Any leaves that are obviously meant to be leaves are green. Any little, you know, like two leaves like that or this. I'm doing purple with a little pink halo. And any little flowers like this, I am doing pink with a little pink halo. So that's kind of my continuous colour palette for that. So my next page, again, same sort of colour palette for Zentangly things. Um, so we have the browns and, you know, the normal kind of colours for the Zentangles to go along with it. And again, we've got all those greens and the blues and the pinks for all of the Zentangles. And I'm really happy with how these came out. And I used chalk pastel, or I don't call them chalk pastel, I call them um, soft pastels. But I use them just for the background. So the pig is pink, so I've got a pink background. Camel is um, brown, so I did a little brown background. And I think it looks really effective and it's quite cohesive with the picture and kind of finishes, finishes it off. Although I, I don't do anything for this. I just imagine that the line is continuing through the book and bringing everything together. I'm not doing anything here. Then the last page that I did was the giraffe, which I don't think anyone will have seen. I think I did this last weekend quite quickly, actually. Again, because it's a yellowish, um, brownish colour palette, I've done that with the pastel uh, I really love how it turned out, I'm so happy with it, and I loved the giraffe, and you might be able to tell that from my large animals page, I have done the camel, I have done the pig, and I have done the giraffe, um, I haven't done the turtle yet, there's a random little turtle there, <laughs> so that is that, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with this page, and overall I'm really happy with everything that I've done in this book so far, and I can't, I, this will be a book that I will finish as well, I'm kind of doing this alongside World of Flowers, but yeah, I love it so much. And finally, of course, we have World of Flowers. You'll be seeing this in every single video until it is finished. I've done quite a few in here. I'm not sure how many, let me just... Okay, I've done five. That's not bad for me in a month. I mean, it's not great. Usually I hope to get eight done in a month, but it's not too terrible. So, the first page that I did was this publishing page here. I did a little soft pastel background here. I put glitter gel pen. I put a layer of 
uh, Wink of Stella and then went over with my Signo Silver glitter gel pen on all of the butterflies um, there, like that, shimmery. Uh, I've, done, I've got white gel pen on here, I've got Prismacolors, Polychromis, all my Faber Castell pencils. I, I don't just stick with one set, I use all my different sets together. I've used my... Uh, what are they? The Holbein's, pretty sure, my 12 Pastel Holbein's. Yeah, um, it's, it's a mishmash all the time for me. Okay, I love this page. And you may have seen this in a partial colour and chat if you have seen that video. Uh, so this is the plant pot. Again, I've got glitter just on this butterfly here. Everything else is shiny, but I don't have any glitter or anything on it. It's just the light. So I have finished this one and I put a little bit of blue pastel on here. Again, I think this was actually mainly Prismacolor and Polychromis, but again, I have got all my favourite Castell pencils in this because, you know what, sometimes, you know, I think sometimes people just stick with one pencil. I can't. I, I'm always skipping and using different pencils, but in my colour alongs, I'm going to try and just stick to one type of pencil. Um, so hopefully that will be easier for people. At the moment, the one I'm doing is just with Prismacolor. So yeah, that's that one. I really like that. Okay, this picture I finished a couple of days ago. I think I finished it... Actually, maybe I just finished it yesterday. No, it was the day before yesterday. Pretty sure it was... Yeah, I think it was Wednesday now. So Monday. Monday I finished it. And it's one of those pages where I decided, look, I just need to get this done. I apps, oh, I just don't really like repetitive pages. And I thought, if I just leave all the repetitive pages, then it's not going to be fun for me. I want to leave fun pictures till the end. So I was like, look, I'm just going to get it done. And then that's one page out of the way. So I actually really like how it turned out. I don't have a problem with actually colouring it. It's just how... Uh, many different elements are repeated but I actually enjoyed colouring it and the only thing I put glitter on was this little bee here and I put white gel pen on everything else so yeah that's a very big repetitive page but it was still kind of fun okay this page that I did I finished just before it and I decided yeah I need to do more pages so this one uh, it was really, really fun. I Again, I only put glitter on this tiny little bug because I just put things to make the you know, creatures stand out. I really, really like how this one turned out. Maybe if I did it again, I would do the poppy slightly differently. But I do like how it turned out. I especially love the purple flowers with the veins. Give you a close-up there. And the blue flower and these flowers. And overall, I'm, I'm really happy with this little background that I experimented with as well, using the light blue turquoise and green just to bring it all together. And I do, I do like this page, so... And I think it's quite cohesive with the other page as well, so now it's a double page spread. Uh, again, I use Prismacolors, Polychromas, all of my pencils. How can I not? I always do. And finally, this is actually the first page I completed in the month, and I had started it on New Year's Eve, or before then, it was just before. Uh, again, this was a mandala page, and I was like, look, I just need to get this page done. It Mandalas, again, aren't really my thing, but I thought the less repetitive things I have, um, the better. So... I did do this one. I really enjoyed not using any green at all. It was my aim to not use any green because green is probably my most used colour out of everything. And I thought, I really want to try and do a page where I'm out of my comfort zone and I do just use a limited colour palette. So mainly for this, this was peach, pink, uh, purple, blue and yellow. So I think I did pretty well with the colour palette and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It took a while. I persevered and I do like how it turned out. So that is that one. So I don't really know how many pages I've done in this now. I think I've done that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, okay, that's not too bad. So, yeah, that's all of the pictures that I completed. Let me just get the books back up. So, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I love doing these videos. I love watching them. And, as I said, I will be doing these every month so that I can show you my progress. So, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, enjoy any colouring that you're doing at the moment. I really appreciate all the comments and everyone who's been subscribing lately. It's so lovely. And, yeah, I just, I, I love the um, appreciation that's come my way even though my channel is very small at the moment um but yeah i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video bye